Today we continue on part 18 at this point, uh, how to now insert. Now we've done about uh, select, now we are going to talk about insert into, uh, the, into the repository. So if you've not subscribed to my channel, click on the subscribe button and also try to talk with me because I like to communicate with my subscribers. And feel free to leave a comment if you have any challenges uh, you face. So let's now see how do we insert a new location. So I'm going to go to Let's start with the, uh, in starting the location. So I'm going to go to post controller to location controller because we want to insert a new location. So location controller. So let's write the method to insert a new location. So you are going to say, um, actually it starts with the location service. Um, but I, at, at this point, I'd like to start with the controller. Or maybe we can just follow the step the way it is. So let's go to location service. So let's start with location service. Where is the service folder? Location service. So location service. Um, I'm actually going to shift this out. All right. So let's try the method public. So when you insert, you don't have anything returned. So the return value is void. Add location. Right, so yeah, if you're adding location, you are taking a location uh, object. So you just say location repo z3 dot save. So save and just give it the location. That's all. So you have the save method available in the repository and just call it and it saves that location. So save location. So this location. So we go to the location controller and then write the method in location controller. So at post mapping, so for inserting a new record, the mapping is going to be post mapping and we want it to go to locations slash add new. So when we go to add new, we want it to insert a new location at that point. So public void so the this is going to be location location all right so so where is this location going to come from it's not going to be coming from the path variable in the url like we've been using the ids this time is going to be coming from the request body so you say at request body that's what you're going to say because this is not going to be coming from the path variable. All right, so so um, control shift on your keyboard, and the next thing you want to do is simply say location service dot what uh, add location and just give it the location. That's all. So. We want to launch the application now and test it to see what we have. So I'm going to save and I'm going to launch this application. We are going to now use advanced REST client to insert a new location and make sure that that location inserts. Okay. So if you have any challenges, please let me know or uh, comment in the comment box below uh, to let me know. All right, so if everything goes well, we are going to go to advanced REST clients and we are going to go to slash locations slash add new. So, all right, so let's insert this location. Let me copy it and let's go to advanced. Meanwhile, let's go to check that we only have three locations so that in case we insert one new one, we will know that we inserted a new location. So I'm going to connect. Now right now, if we run it, you see that we have only three locations. And let's now insert a new location. You need to go to post. You need to use post. And you need to go to locations slash add new. So you can see add new. That is what we specified in our controller. And the body this time, to specify the body, you need to drop down here and go to body 
and paste the body. So I'm trying to insert location 5. The name of this location is Canistown, and I'm going to just say send. And it says 200, OK. If I go to localhost and then I rerun this, you can say it's inserted location 5, Canistown. So that is how to insert a new location. Now it's easy, but uh, it's going to be a bit challenging uh, as we move on. All right, so I would like to thank you for viewing. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed. And let's now see in the next lesson, part 19, where we are going to see how we can insert a new user.